Hi, my name is Peter. I'm with Aspen Medical Products and I wanted to give a brief tutorial on how to fit possibly problematic patients, uh, most notably your morbidly obese or no neck patients or somebody with a, uh, on the opposite end of that spectrum, a very slender neck, somebody with a uh, very thin might also be a little difficult to fit. Um, all right, first of all, let's talk about that no neck patient, somebody that just has very limited or almost no clearance space there. Uh, traditionally, what you would want to do with a collar is just kind of get it in there by any means necessary, and what you're looking at is just that clearance there between the, uh, the chin and almost the sternal notch. With the Vista, you can see that the uh, bottom portion of the anterior part of the collar sticks out a little bit further. It's kind of what I term the underbite technology. What that's going to enable the collar to do is sit lower on the chest than what you're probably traditionally used to. All right. So again, let's talk about that patient. They've got no clearance right there. Instead of working with the collar, just jamming that in, what we want to do is capture the chin first and rotate that collar up. You see, I've got almost no clearance there. That's probably three, three and a half inches. Uh, I definitely don't have three and a half inches right there, but I'm able to successfully control my flexion, capture the chin, rotate that up, and you can see that strut is there. This collar is just gonna sit much lower on the chest than what you're probably traditionally used to. Um, it's pretty simple, but nothing else fits like this or is designed to fit like that, so it might be something a little bit new for you. Again, it's the squeeze and scoop. Tuck it in, scoop it up, and wherever it sits, it's gonna sit a good, you can see on me, it sits all the way down here. It's gonna sit a good four or five inches lower than what you're maybe traditionally used to, but that's okay, especially with this product, it's designed to fit that way. All right, uh, secondly, let's talk about somebody with a very slender neck. Um, might be hard to fit. Um, so that is going to be more of a girth issue, right? So here's the front panel again. Let's look at it from the side, all right? What we wanna do first of all on any, any patient besides maybe uh, that patient with the big truck tire neck, what you wanna do, you can see the little notches here on the side of the front panel. You can just aggressively bend that collar in there to create more of a round, what is that? Not a cone, cylinder more of a cylindrical appearance. There you go. So right off the bat, when you go to put this on the patient, all right, let's, let's do that squeeze again, that, that scoop. So if I'm the patient with a really slender neck, right, what you wanna do is just squeeze that and wrap around. It's already gonna stay in place by itself. Um, as a patient, it feels more comfortable because I'm getting more circumferential support. And with that patient with the very slender neck, it's, the ends are going to be closer to touching, closer to mating. And then what you're going to want to do is just affix that back panel as such. So basically, you can see you're able to fit a patient all the way up to those plastic pieces overlapping. And that should work for pretty much all of your patients. Um, the middle 85 to 90% is going to be covered in the Aspen instruction packet. Feel free to call Aspen at any time if you have education issues. But uh, again, this video should help a little bit with some of those outliers. Thank you so much. Have a good day.